Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this case, we have three challenges. The people is small, the cataract is intumescent, and the nucleus is hard. We have to overcome these three challenges. Let us observe this surgery. All the incisions have been made. The anti-capsule is being stained with tripe and blue dye, and then we are administering two agents this is adrenaline and phenocaine and we see that the people has not dilated at all size of this people is about three millimeter and it is not enough to manage this hard cataract and intumescence so my plan is to make a small rexis, aspirate some cortex, make the chamber deep, and then apply a people expansion device. So here goes a uh, 26 gauge bent needle. This is a uh, cystitome, and the anticapsule is punctured at the center, and then the C flap is converted into a small rexis. This is not a round rexis, but doesn't matter. We're going to enlarge this rexis anyway. And now I aspirate some cortex to make the chamber deep. The antechamber was very shallow because of the intumescence of the cataract. So I aspirate cortex, it took some time to aspirate a significant amount of cortex so that the anterior chamber becomes deep when I administer viscoelastic substance. And it took some more time to for the cortex to come out because the Mini rexis was really mini, very small. If we make the small rexis little large, about one millimeter large, then the cortex comes easily. However, though it takes time, in this case, I didn't take any chance because we have a lot of challenges to overcome. And now the cortical matter is coming from the equator, from the posterior aspect, anteriorly. In this process, hydrodissection is already done. So we don't have to do hydrodissection. After enlarging the small rexus, now visco is injected some amount of visco has been injected behind the iris to make some room and this is the B hex people expansion device and I am very proud of my colleague Dr. Subhan Bhattacharji who invented this device in Kolkata Kolkata the city of joy in India he has got many problems but we can see this is the cultural capital of India this is the spiritual capital of India Swami Vivekananda was born in this city of joy and in the same city Dr. Subhan Bhattacharji in his small laboratory room invented this device which is made of polyimide it has no joints very thin device it can be used in shallow anterior chamber but in this case to be on the safer side I made the mini rexis first aspirated some cortex injected visco the chamber became deep 
and then I administered this device. After aspirating some cortex and injecting visco, I'm going to enlarge the meniraxis now. Here it goes. After making a small nick, the capsular tag is held there and the capsule is guided all around to get an adequate size to access. Since this is a hard cataract, I tried to go beyond the pupillary margin in some places to get a larger rexus. And now we have overcome two challenges. Rexus we have done and we have made the people of adequate size applying BHEX people expansion device. And now I'm going to manage the nucleus by direct chop. See the exposed part of the phaco needle. It is quite a bit more than in routine cases because I want to deliver more ultrasonic energy into the substance of the nucleus. And here goes my technique which I call a submarine chop. The tip goes into the substance of the nucleus, travels through the substance towards the opposite equator and the nucleus is chopped. See how beautifully it is chopped. And now again I go through the substance of the nucleus and make another chop. As a submarine goes through water, here the phaco needle goes through the substance of the nucleus and in this process in this process of movement, it cracks the hard nucleus. It already makes a crack in its path and we can use any chopper to divide the nucleus into pieces. See, this chopper is just a modified Sinsky hook. It was designed by me. It, was, it is known as Mohanta's chopper. and with this small chopper also I can manage this case because the technique is submarine chop. This is the last portion of the nucleus. It is being emulsified and the last bit of the nucleus is managed in FECO3 mode. From the beginning it was in FECO 2 mode where the ultrasonic energy was 80% and flow rate was 45 vacuum 450. During emulsification of the last piece it was 250 vacuum 25 flow rate and 70% ultrasonic energy. And now I aspirate some cortex with the help of this Sim Simco cannula. Simco cannula is a very timid, very gentle instrument. You can handle it in any way. Coaxial IA and bimanual IA is operated by foot and it is good but if you use this instrument you will find that you have more control with this instrument so it is safer than the bimanual IA or coaxial IA however if you develop your skills you can manage with any instrument and now here goes the lens. The lens is delivered in the capsular bag. In this case we should take care that the trailing haptic should not press onto the BHEX people expansion device and the BHEX should not go into the capsular bag. It is nicely placed. Now, now we have to remove the visco and before that we have to remove the 
BX people expansion device. So I go to 3 o'clock flange, hold it, pull it centrally and the disengage all the flanges and pull it out. This device, the beauty of this device is you just need a forceps. It is known as 23 gaze BX forceps. You don't need any injector. By the same forceps you can easily place the people expansion device as well as you can remove it. So now we are going to remove the visco thoroughly. I have used Simco for some time for removing the visco. Now this is irrigating cannula of bimanual irrigation aspiration probes all the visco from the antechamber angle has been removed and now irrigation and aspiration is being used together to remove all the visco This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of the side ports. It is done. And now a final lavage of the anterior chamber and formation of the anterior chamber. At this time I use this instrument, a 23 gauze Simcoe cannula, form the antechamber very nicely in this way and conclude the case. Thank you very much for your attention. In this case I have shared how we can overcome three challenges in one case, small people, hard nucleus and intermescent cataract. Be a great citizen and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.